Somebody broke in my car and took $20. So I just walk outside my crib. I'm like, it's lit. I woke up late, parked on the right side of the street. Everybody else double park. I'm like, oh yeah, it's lit. I ain't have to wake up early. So I'm walking, I leave my gate and these cars are double parked really tight in front of my house. So I had to walk down a little bit and I end up having to walk behind my car to go to the driver's side. So I walk around the trunk and I'm looking on the floor and I see glass on the floor. And I'm like, <whistles> kick that drum to the side. I'm like, all right, cool, glass on the floor, whatever. And I look up and I'm like, cool. And I look in the car and I'm like, this really my car. I know I said they took $20 out of my car, cause they did, but like, I didn't even know what the $20 was. My mom was put $20 in the car. She was like, yeah, I put the $20 in the like middle thing somewhere. It was supposed to be in the, uh, the, the literally the middle thing between the passenger and the driver. But it was in like the, the joint where you put your glasses, you know, like right, right, right up top there. So I was like, right, I'm gonna leave it there. Nobody knew about it. I barely knew about it. And then, you know, I didn't have $20 the next day. Come to find out, like five other cars that night got broken into. Glass bang, boom, hmm. smash. Somebody else got, got that work at a brewery like a month ago, got his stuff stolen, got glass stolen, ironically. All jokes aside, like, like I walked around the car and I wasn't even mad. I was just like, yo ma, like, so somebody broke into the car and like took the twenty dollars. She's like, mad motherly. She's like, oh my god, are you okay? What happened? Ah, uh, are you good? Trying to calm me down, you know, like motherly stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm chilling, you know. Somebody broke in the car. So what do I do? She like, she like, call Geico and ask them what to do. And I'm just like, I right, bet. And I'm I'm trying to hang up. So I'm trying to hang up. And she just like, she just still talking. I'm just like, mom, mom, it's cool, it's cool. I'm gonna call Geico. I'm gonna call you back. So she hang up, I call Geico. They finally put me on with somebody. And the person tells me like, oh yeah, you covered, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, it's lit. And then they start breaking up and they telling me, yeah, you just gotta go to a safe light. I'm like, oh, I say what? She like, a safe light. And I'm like, say what? She like, a safe light. I'm like, a safe light, like safe light repair, safe light repair. And she was weak at me. I'm just like, why are you laughing at me? like? I'm trying to get my window fixed. Now I was weak too, because I really didn't hear what she was saying. And that was the first thing that came to my mind. So she eventually gave me the address and that's when the other people on the block started coming to me. And I see people running down the block to their cars and like, like niggas had their windshields broken. Niggas had their driver's side broken. Like they was breaking, breaking in the car. And I'm just like, dang. But my whole mind state wasn't on some wasn't on something I'm angry. I just, I, I was just like, yo, I just want to get it fixed. I just want to thank God that they didn't take the car. I still have a car. Still be able to get to work. If I need to, I could just get on the train. I'm not hurt. Nobody on the block was hurt. I ended up going to the safe light place and they ended up doing this like crash wrap, which I thought it was going to be like this plastic bag thing that they did, but it was like this, this cool, like sturdy plastic that like, it was like, yeah, it's supposed to be really, it, like they said, it's, it's really strong on, on um, like highway wind pressure or whatever. So I was like, all right, cool. So as soon as they gave it back to me, I was on the highway like, <laughs> that's not how it looked, but I was going fast. And I was like, oh, cool, it really does work. And I was like poking at it. It was mad weird because it was like, it kind of looked like, like glass from far, but it's not, it's not. So yeah, I had to come back the next day and get my driver's side window repaired and they scared the crap out of me. I was in there for like an hour and a half and then somebody came up to me and it was like, let's go see a car. And I was like, this don't sound good. And he was like, so we went to the car and he was like, you see this? I was like, yeah, I didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> he was like this right here. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but just, it's like, say what you're talking about. He was like, the, um, this thing right here is supposed to be able to like roll your window up and down and it's supposed to be down further, but it's not going down further. And I'm like, okay, cool. So like, y'all gonna make it go down further or not? Nah? He was like, we're gonna try, but if not, you're gonna have to buy a new one. And I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So he told me the name of it. 
and the reason if you wonder why I'm not telling you the names because I forgot. So I go back in this in the thing and I'm just like, yo God, whatever it is, it, it's gonna have to work itself out because you either gonna send me bread <laughs> or they about to fix this. Cause I ain't got it. Dude came back like um like an hour and a half later. And I'm just like, I'm not worried or nothing. I'm literally just sitting there like, all right, cool, the longer. The longer time passed, the more chance that is that's gonna be fixed. Because if not, they would have came to me already. So they come back an hour and a half later, and so I'm like, "You all good to go?" Blah blah. blah. And I'm like, "Oh word, good luck, y'all. I appreciate that." Gave me the paperwork. I'm like, "So I'm not buying it." He was like, "He was like, nah." He was like, "Yeah, cause you was looking at like three hundred dollars." I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I was looking at like this car about to stay here for a while, cause I ain't got it." So it happened, and the next day it was fixed, like it never happened. So, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this story, like, share it, subscribe to my channel. Comment below if you have any stories like this, or if you just want to talk about what you should do in the event that something like this happens to you.